Hey everybody, happy homebrew Wednesday. Uh, I'm finally getting to off the grill with Nate's uh, final beer. So this is uh, my last beer from the beer mail. That's not going to make any sense if I forget to put the sound in again. Just make a note of that. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. But uh, I'm going to try to use that uh, new beer mail sound. All right, we'll see. Um, this last beer is the Zombie APA. I, I was looking forward to this one, um, partly because of the name. You know, I like horror, so Zombie APA kind of sounded good to me. And um, also, I like pale ales. And uh, the only reason I haven't done this one yet was because it needed to be aged for a little longer. I think he bottled it not long before sending it to me so I let it age out in the bottle for a while and when he told me that it was ready I popped it in the fridge and it's actually been chilling for a couple of weeks too so this should be ready to go and since it's ready to go so am I Let's see what we got Okay, that pours a fairly cloudy, sorry that's my, my cell phone, that pours a fairly cloudy orange apricot. It's an interesting color, it kind of seemed like there was a lot of um, something going on in there, but uh, I really like that color, that's like orangeade colored kind of, you know? orangeade apricot very orangey I mean this would actually be a really cool color for my um, for my pumpkin ale it's gonna be a lot darker than this not quite as orangey but that's a really cool color see so smell uh, not much of a head going on that I poured it pretty aggressively but um, you know no big deal oh wow wow that that aroma is um, very citrusy, but not in the way that I normally say citrusy. Normally when I say citrusy, I'm, I don't know, like lemony, I guess, is what I mean. But this is like tropical fruit. It smells like fruit juice. It really smells like... Like a tropical fruit juice. Um, wow. Awesome, awesome smell. I... I can honestly say I've never had a beer that has that kind of aroma to it. And that mixed with the color, already this is a very unique beer for me. Oh my god. Hmm. Wow. You know, it's really weird because going to sip it, going to drink it, you honestly, it's almost like you're expecting juice based on the aroma. So it's kind of almost weird getting beer when you when you start drinking it because it really does smell like a cup of tropical juice. That aroma, that aroma definitely comes through in the flavor. You really do taste a lot of that same tropical fruit right up the right at the top. Yeah, and there's like um at the top the tropical fruits. As you're drinking it, a little bit of bitter but not overtly at all. Um, I mean, a pretty standard American Pale Ale uh, bitterness, I would say. Um, and I'm getting mostly the hops, I guess. Not a whole hell of a lot of malt going on in there. Um, but wow, I mean, this is all about the hops. I don't know what kind you used exactly. I do have an email here from you. And he told me that uh, the Zombie Pale Ale is 5% ABV and 45 to 50 IBUs when it was bottled. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that, that sounds about right. Uh, the carbonation isn't crazy. It's, um, 
really kind of soft carbonation actually. Um, so it's it's not under carb though. It's just um, uh, low carbonation. Yeah, really good, man. That's a crazy, crazy beer. Did you put juice in that, or is that just all the hops? Cause I honestly, I would believe if you told me you put like, you know, in the secondary that you put pieces of fruit or citrus peel or something, I probably would believe it based on the flavor and aroma of this. It really, I mean, it really just tastes and smells a lot like that tropical juice. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna let this warm up a little bit, tell you guys what's happening with my um, homebrew stuff. Um, so this week's actually gonna be pretty busy. As you know, I have that um, smack pack of uh, 3068 that is inflated, and we wanted to use it up. I ordered some ingredients. It all showed up today. I put it away. I'm not going to show you guys. You've seen ingredients before. But um, the uh, the yeast, I'm going to use the, the smack pack, the 3068, I'm going to use to make the ghoulish graph. I told you about that previously. So I'm going to brew that on um, probably Thursday or Friday. I'm gonna just It's a quick probably should take less than an hour. The boil for that's only 30 minutes. Uh, so maybe an hour altogether for that. Uh, I'm going to bang that out real quick. And then on Sunday, Mike and I are going to brew again. And we're going to do the uh, Moon Hill Pumpkin Ale. We might shoot some video for that so I could show you guys uh, how it's looking. But um, basically the reason we want to do that is it's almost fall. We're a couple weeks into September already. And I really want, especially the Moon Hill Pumpkin Ale, but the Graph too, uh, for the fall and for Halloween. So I really just, I mean, we did a lot of brewing the past few weeks. So we're going to have the, the Dunkel, the Graph, and the Moon Hill all getting bottled uh, within a week of each other, basically. And, um, I mean, it's a lot, of, uh, a lot of brewing, a lot of bottling. I don't think we even have enough bottles to take care of all of them right now. But... Like I said, I mean, it's almost fall, and it just is important to me to have that stuff for, I mean, even if it's just a few bottles of young, you know, slightly green Moon Hill Pumpkin Ale on Halloween, I want to have them ready. Um, and then, you know, November is cool, Thanksgiving, having like a nice cider graph, the, uh, the pumpkin, all kind of goes with it. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's what's happening this week. Um, again, probably shoot a little video. Um, I'm out of beer from you guys. I have no more be beer mail. I have no more... I'm not going to say the word again because then the sound will play. I don't want to keep making that sound. Uh, I don't have any more. So uh, this was the last one for a while. Uh, other than that, probably have a couple of the brew videos coming. And... Uh, of course, once that stuff is bottled and I start tasting it, I can't wait to show you guys what it all looks like and how the dunkel turned out. Let's see, now that this warmed up a little bit. Mm. You know, as it warms up a little bit, the flavor has more of the floral accents from the hops coming out. Um, so a little less of the citrus, a little more of the floral as you let it uh, warm up. But still, just a delicious beer. Nate, uh, great, great beer. If you guys haven't subscribed to Nate's channel, Off the Grill with Nate, uh, I'll put a link again, as usual. Uh, you should definitely check him out. has some great videos. He tasted a few of my beers, um, so he has all those videos up. You can check those out. And otherwise, um, everyone have a great homebrew Wednesday. Drink some beer, brew some beer. I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers. Ah!